So as you were saying, mate, what were you saying? Well, I was talking about, you know, there used to be a lot more butterflies, you know, sort of a long time back. You yeah. mean you just you, there used to be a lot more nature in general, if you see what I mean? Is that yeah, what, more insects, what you mean? more yeah, beetles like, and yeah. whatever. And I just think like back then we used to communicate a lot more. Mm. You know, when there was no cars, you know, no noise, pollution, so on and so on. Mm. Um, and I think people used to be a bit more respectful to each other. Not all, because like the rich used to treat the poor like dirt, didn't they? Yeah. It don't matter if you go well, back. Used to, not even used to, yeah, mate. Always. Well, like always, <laughs> always, but it still happens today, mate. Yeah, you know what I mean? Treat... You get the, 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 the average working class person is like, you know what I mean? You know? Well, I think that's disappearing a little bit where, you know, like a, a, a homeless person can have a mobile phone. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Same as a rich person, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's. I think we're levelling out somehow today. Yeah, well, in some regards, in some aspects, people are equal in some regards, if you see what I mean, too. Because like you said, even a homeless guy could have a, could somehow come, you know, get a cell, you know, a mobile phone, you know That's what right. I mean? One of the, you know, relatively new ones, and it's got internet and et cetera, right. you know what I mean? So, so I don't necessarily you know, think he's, like... He's as connected as anyone else, even though he might be potentially homeless, like yeah. you said, too. He could be potentially connected, you know, to the world like everyone else. Well, it's possible to be in prison. Yeah. And be on the internet. Oh, definitely, you know, definitely, definitely. You yeah. know, and communicate with, on, with the outside world. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah. I was going to say something else, but I've forgotten now. I mean, <laughs> it's it's um yeah, but yeah, um, nature has been this. It has been and is being destroyed at an exponential rate today, as we already know. You know, what I mean, hence why, as we already know, like they're saying, the carbon emissions are destroying the planet, and that is just a reality. Yeah, you know, it's not just that. It's that all the cars running over all the beetles or whatever, you know. Oh, well, etc. They're, yeah. they're, they're kind of going extinct today in a kind of way, isn't it? A lot of these well, it's all, it's all the pesticides. Yeah. A lot of the fertilisers. We grew up spiders. Yeah, fertilisers, yeah. you know what I mean? All sorts of shit that cause the death and destruction of different things that would naturally exist in nature, if you see what I mean, you know? That would naturally be there, if you see what I mean, and, you know? I think we lost our... Because we were, I think we were talking earlier about like we used to communicate with the animals a long time. That's how I think, you know, like yeah. before noise, before cars, you know. Yeah. Apparently, sort of like a thousand years ago, you know, I read, you know, or saw a documentary over um, about, sorry, mm. um, that like about a thousand years ago, people used to heal more. Used to what? Healing. Oh, healing, yeah, 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 I mean, back then they used to sort of believe in magic and sort of like be a bit mysterious about witchcraft and things back then. You well, know? some of it wasn't always witchcraft and shit though. Some of it was just some stuff that got labelled as witchcraft and stuff was not actually like witchcraft and shit, like you said. There were some people back then that were just healing people with, with natural herbs and natural remedies and stuff that you could find in the, in the, in their in their gardens in their or in in the you know wherever you know wherever they're they're at if you see what I mean they've got all these things at their disposal and they just were able to learn and understand the different herbs and what they do and how they heal people and stuff and they were using them to heal the, like you said heal sick people and stuff like this and sometimes those people were deemed to be a rich you know someone doing witchcraft and so it's, it's like don't get me wrong there was witchcraft going on in those times and still today witchcraft has always been going on if you see what I mean you know, because that is just, that is like manipulation of the elements, if you see what I mean, essentially. That's all that is, if you see what I mean, you know. Oh, well, fire, you know, like when people first saw fire, yeah. they used to think, goodness, you know, like it's godly, you know, magical. Yeah. You know, but like people see fire today, they don't think anything of it, you know, you can, you know, sort of like light up like that now, you know, mm. like your fingertips. But like, if a caveman, Cave, cave man, sorry, went like that with a lawyer, he'd be probably frightened a bit like that, do you know what I mean, yeah? Because they're just not used to it, do you know what I mean? It's something new to them, you know? Yeah. And when you think about it, fire is very magical. It is a very magical element, really, you know, like, I mean, fire works only, nothing burns without oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is, yeah. Key. But that's nothing to do with communication, so we're trying to sort of like, 
get back on communication. Yeah, communication. Yeah, for we'll, sure, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about oxygen another time, whatever. Yeah, definitely. You know, but even oxygen itself, all right, yeah. Radioactive waves, yeah. communication. Mm. You know, oxygen is used for communication, isn't it? In a big way. In a very big way. Yeah. Communication, communication, mate, is essential and vital, mate, and very important to mankind. Well, all aspects of daily life, you know. Um, you know, you constant, you constant, you know, like the amount of people that you, you interact with and engage with on a daily basis. If you're a busy work, you know, busy person who works and does, you know, whatever. You know, the amount of people that you interact with on a daily basis is like, you know, you, you know, you're constantly communicating. You're constantly, your vocabulary is constantly being enhanced and improved through people that you're conversing with. Um, you're, you're continuously, every time you converse with people, not every time, but a lot of times you converse with people, you're gaining something from it. You're gaining some kind of knowledge or some kind of understanding or you're having a reasoning about something or whatever, like, you know. Um, so communication is very important. You know. Not even communicating right now. Yeah. You know, about talking about communication and mm. um, trying to think deeply about communication. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's very important. It's one of the most important things in life, I think, because that's how we all learn mm. how to, when we communicate, how to improve. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Even with good communication and walking in. Yeah. I think, you know, yeah. more we can come to a better understanding in yeah. life, Yeah. you know, together. Yeah. You know, I think slowly in time, through every century, we are improving in some way. You know, this is the modern world today, do you know what I mean? It's taken a long time to get it like this. You know? Oh, for sure, definitely. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, the world we see today, I think, some ideas were around 2,000 years ago and they're still here today. Yeah. You know, but some, some, Obviously, uh, you know, like the light bulb, that's a more recent sort of invention, you know. But what we see in today is full of inventions all day new. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, like, tomorrow, Josh might come up with a new idea. Mm. Or I might come up with an, Or you might come up with a new idea for the world to see. Yeah. And make it better. Yeah. You know? Make, a, make something better than the light bulb itself, you know, yeah. to change the world. Definitely. You know, I mean, like for instance, the computer. What, what an incredible invention! In a funny way, you know. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know, a communication machine. Also. Well, and let's look at how far the computers come from. The, how, how far the from Stonehenge. Well, not even that, but like, in the last twenty years. Incredible. Early nineteen ninety nine, two thousand, whatever. Mm -hmm. People had a Windows. Big computer, you know what I mean? You know, desktop. Everyone had a desktop computer, that's all there was at that time, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, it takes forever to start up. By the time you eventually get to put in your password and your username and shit, it takes another five minutes to start up. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to go, you've got to, you know, plug in the internet into the dial up. Because back then you had dial up internet, as we, I don't know if you, I'm sure you remember the dial up internet, yeah. right? You had to plug, <laughs> yeah, you had to plug the shit, had to plug the shit in it, and it yeah. was, it was, you know. It would say whether or not it's connected, you know what I mean? You know, they finally connect and you could go online finally after another five, ten minutes gone by. And then by the time you open up a page online, that's another five, ten minutes you're looking at. Yeah. And then if you want to look at anything else after it's that. Time go bed. Yeah, it's like a, like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> an hour's gone by, mate. Almost yeah. like 45 minutes to an hour's gone by. Yeah. Just trying to check an email and reply. But yeah, it's, you know, it is. You it's, know? And now today, in, 22, in 2022, and the computer, look at how far it's come in 22 years though, mate, like the advancement today. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's at super speed now, isn't it? And that's you what I'm know? saying, not only that, but the internet itself too. Yeah, and, the computer and the internet. And also the TV's got better, you know, because mm. it used to be quite big TVs, but they're all gone now, they're all flat screen. They're all smart TVs today. You know, they can make TVs as thin as a glass, bit of glass, you know, it's incredible. Incredible stuff, you know, you think, how? You know, out the out of all the elements in the world, they've invented all this stuff. You know, like windows. You know, in a funny way. You know, that that's they made of sand. Yeah. 
you yeah. know, like you took up sand, you know, silicon. It's, gla- it's glass, isn't silicon it? Silicon in sand, it's, you see. It's glass, isn't it? You know, and yeah. there's a lot of sand in the world, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? And they can make a lot of glass. Yeah, definitely. You yeah. know, but a big explosion or a, a big noise could break them all. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you know, it's funny. I mean, high pitched sound, which is communication again, talking about that, can break all the windows in it. Yeah. Or, or deafen you. Yeah, definitely. You know? yeah. So sound itself is incredible. I think you know, like, um, I mean, there's all t- different types of sound out there, isn't there? Like mm-hmm. every animal out there, like elephant, whatever, or mouse, they all make different sounds. Yeah. You know, it's all to do with communication, really, you know, to us, you know, because, like, don't matter whether you're German, French, Italian, whatever language, an elephant sounds like an elephant yeah. to every language, mm. you know, so we all hear the elephant, you know, we all understand that language, you know. We all There's some things that are universal, yeah, like language. a universal understanding and universal language. No, it's like itself. art itself, you know, like, if I did a painting, mm-hmm. it wouldn't matter what language you speak, you can see it. Yeah, true. You know, so, yeah. art b- basically is a universal language. And money. Yeah. <laughs> Money's a universal language too. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with music. Mm. Music is a universal language too, you know? Mm. A lot yeah. of times people in certain country can't even understand what some of these people are saying. But they're, you know what I mean, they're, you know, vibing to the tracks. And whenever they come to those countries, those, you know, they go to, just, you know, go to see them live and support them. And, you know, they don't even, can't even understand half of the words sometimes, you mm-hmm. see what I mean? But they just enjoy the music. That's right. Love, you know, love everyone that. loves love. dancing. Everyone can feel the yeah. same beat, you know. The vibe, you know what I mean? You know, like if there was a party and there was Germans there or and Italian people, English people and French or whatever, all in the same party room and they put some music on, they could all dance. Yeah. You yeah, know, they'd all feel the same beat, mm. you know, African people, whatever. Yeah. You know, we all can feel music, let's put it that way, and that's one language we kind of share, you know? Yeah. And it's like, when if you wanted to communicate something to the world, I think, right, so the whole world can hear what you want to say, I think the best way to do it is write a song mm. and put it in a song in such a powerful way. And once... If it's good enough, you know, the whole world will hear it, you know, and that's that, you know, I think it's, you know, listening to song is the fastest way to communicate to the world, I think, you know. Yeah. I mean, you can write in a book, but I think it's not going to go so far, you see what I mean, or put it in a paper or, you know, I think in a song, like some famous songs, like from Beatles or whatever, or some of these classic songs. Yeah. Um, like, for instance, R.E.M., Everybody Hurts, mm. or there's lots of songs, you know, that have made it big time, and those words have sort of gone to everyone's heart, yeah? Mm. You know, communicated in a kind of way to them to um, sort of express the way they feel um, in a song, to communicate those feelings to the whole world. Yeah. 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 You know, so I think that's a really good way of communicating. You know, if you. Yeah. I'm big on that too, mate. As you, as you yeah. know, as you yeah, know, someone. as you, as you know, when it comes to my music as well, like a lot of my music has messages in it. Yeah. As, like, yeah. I'm talking about real shit, real life experiences, or things that all of us go through, or things we can all relate to, or you know what I mean? It's you know. Well, I think most artists out there do try to express. Something you know, one way or another. That's what it is. It's about self. It's yeah. about it's communication, but from a, a form of self-expression. Mm. You know, communicating something and putting something like you said in a, in a you know in an art form. You know, using an art form to express something, whether it be music or art. You know, different forms of art or whatever. You know, um, but yeah. I mean, it's like the Beatles when they come out, yeah, mm. and they sort of like. Um, sort of hit the world yeah. on the big stage, you know, like, it was all good news, you know, something good was happening, Yeah. you know, and there, all these girls were screaming and fainting at that time, you know, Yeah. and whatever, mm. but, you know, like, at the time, there's politics going in, which is really boring, Yeah. you know, and the Beatles come in, and they're like that, screaming, you know, and they're, 
in a kind of way, they're writing good politics in a kind of way, you know, about love and the way the world should be in a kind of way, you know, and it's, it's it, you know, people will look at the musician rather than the person reading the news, basically, if you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know? mm. And I think it's a, a fantastic, music's a fantastic way of spreading good news, yeah. in a kind of way, you know, yeah. to people. Mm -hmm. And like I say, people, everyone, almost everyone, not everyone, but everyone loves music and everyone loves dancing. Yeah, that's true. They? Yeah. And it makes you feel good, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. Music. Yeah. Not all the time, but, yeah. you know, depending on what it is. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah. So say everything's got a different sound, though, like the dolphins, you know, they've got a high-pitched sound of... Apparently they're really good at communicating, apparently, you know, and they're very complex. Yeah, apparently they're... They, 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 well, Solar si power. Sci scientists reckon, scientists, rather, reckon um, that they're more intelligent than us. Maybe. That apparently yeah. they use more of their cerebral vortex, cerebral frontal... I can't remember if it's their cerebral vortex or their frontal lobe or something like that. Mm. Like, much more higher percentage than, than we do, if you see what I mean. Yeah. And they can communicate through the water at distance, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean sound travels through water as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. 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 And like I say, um all the birds different birds got different sound. Mm. You know, even like for instance, if there was a group of pigeons, all right, and they're all sort of making a different sound, they still got like me and Josh have got different frequency sound a little bit. Yeah. And we, I think we've all got different frequency sound. Yeah. And yeah. so is every, you know, say penguins. Mm. Right, they make a noise. They got different frequency sound from each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we would recognise it, but you know, I think everything's got different sound. Mm. Just like different fingerprint, you know. It's pretty amazing if you ask me. Unique. Yeah. You know, and then if you, if I met a a, a, a lady and had a, a baby with that lady, mm. that baby would grow up with a different voice completely to anything that's ever existed yeah. in the past, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. incredible. I yeah. don't think anyone in the, in the past has ever had the same voice as me either, you know, anyone yeah. boring. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? We've all got an individual, unique voice. Exactly, to us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's, so I think we all... That's the beauty of life, mate, and the beauty of creation, you know? Mm. You know, the... That's what... What I love about life, because we're all a little bit different, you know, and we've got a little bit of a past, yeah. different past, and we can all sit around a big table and share that. Exactly. You know, mm. yeah. I think, yeah. you know, communicate to make it a better world for the future, you know. Well, that's the, that's the only way we're going to do it, mate, is through communication, you know. It's about overcoming communication barriers, if you see what I mean, you know. A lot of times, a lot of stuff can be solved quite simply and quite easily through a conversation, you know? But sometimes people's people's ego and pride get in the way, you know? Or, you know, people, think, people want to be seen in a certain light or people are just, you know, narcissistic, like we were talking about before, like they're control freaks. Or, or some people are not educated. That's the problem, not educated, right? Yeah. I mean, it's no good communicating with somebody that don't know anything, mm. is it? Mm. You know, or just knows one thing about cars or something. You know. Yeah. You know, to to have a good person to communicate, you need somebody intelligent that knows a lot of the different things. I think. You know, I love studying lots of different things. To be honest with you, you know, yeah, I always have done. You know, like I like going everywhere. You know, with my mind. I, you know, I like questioning everything. Yeah. You know, mm. and I think that's what I think. I I've had an interest in life. I think. That's for one, <laughs> you know, it's been crazy life sometimes, you know, and um, I've got a lot of stories to tell, to be honest with you, you know. Um, in, yeah, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm personally happy with who I am. Yeah, um, I like one. Well, you know, because I, I know that there are a lot of people out there that are not on my same level as me. Yeah. If you see what I mean. Mm. And you can't communicate with people that just watch Crossroads every day or whatever. You know, yeah. If you see what I mean. Yeah. But there's some people you can commu you can communicate with them, mate, but just like on a surface, just like on a surface level, it's nothing. 
you can't have like a deep intellectual introspective conversation with them about something if you see what I mean you could talk to them on a surface level like hi good morning how are you how's your day going or how's your family you know you know etc like on a surface level basic conversation but for some people beyond that there's it's not too much beyond that if you get what I'm saying respectfully if you see what I mean no disrespect to anyone but you know um, you know, but then some people you can have deeper conversations with, you You know. You might get to know the person and realise, you know what, this person's on a similar wavelength to me and they might think, they might have similar ideas and similar opinions in regards to things that, you know, into, you know, in regards, you know, might think similar, you know, in similar ways to the way that I think, if you see what I mean, and then you can share a little, you know, you can share shit with people, you know. I mean, some people don't even want to learn, do they? Yeah, true. Yeah. They, don't, they think they know it all, some people. They think, yeah. well, that's, I know it all and that's it. But again, yeah. that, again, that's pride, mate. You you know, know, but I mean. they, honestly, there's so much to learn in life. It's phenomenal, you know. Like, um, to be honest with you, I, I'm not... Like, when, when, when I've been in my relationships in the past, whatever, you know, sometimes I've had long relationships, you're too busy, you know, having children and all that, and you ain't got time to learn. Yeah, like, true. Mm. Or study philosophy or whatever, you know. Um, it's only since I've been single, you know, especially in the last sev um, seven years or so, you know, I've, I've been free to learn what I want, you know, have time to learn, you know, catch up with stuff that I didn't learn at school. So, I mean, like, for instance, YouTube is fantastic, you know, like, if you want to learn about history, you know, for yourself. You know, you watch different things and you sort of think, well, I believe that, I don't believe that, you know, and you just work out for yourself. Don't yeah, you? you kind of form your own opinions yeah. based on the information that is provided to you at the time. Yeah, if but you know, or, like, you know, like when I was at school, I was not interested in history whatsoever. Yeah. It bored me. Mm. But in the last seven years, it's interested me more, you know, and especially when you've got YouTube or Google to do your study and yeah. whatever and learn, you know, especially with all these documentaries they're making today to fix these stories together, you know, mm -hmm. people that have been working on these documentaries for a long time to communicate with the world, to sort of give us a better understanding of what the past was a bit. Yeah, definitely, you know, definitely. Which is yeah. great, I think, you know, mm -hmm. and I say even today, people are finding things that happen, you know, like digging up, Places, you know, finding bones, finding evidence of the past that will happen, yeah. libraries that are burnt down, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we are kind of discovering our past because it's like buildings, when when you like the pyramids, for instance, you put them up and they're still there today. Yeah. They might be decayed a bit, but yeah. there they are, like mm -hmm. a photograph almost, you know. Yeah. They're frozen in time. Yeah, definitely. You know, buildings get kind of frozen. They do. They do crumble yeah you know long you know the pyramids will crumble eventually but mm. they, they disappear yeah eventually unless they do a mark unless they restore them somehow exactly yeah mm. which they probably will yeah probably yeah you know? they'll want to maintain that you know mm -hmm. yeah i mean i think they're restoring a lot of things i mean it's like you know, I don't know, they're putting the next temple up in Jerusalem or something. Oh, yeah, 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 like yeah that, I've, heard about, I've heard about that too. And the wall yeah. and all this, I don't know, do you know what I mean? But, like, mm -hmm. things, I think, like, as time goes on, we kind of learn about the past, funny enough, a bit more, you know? I don't know, you know, because modern man got computer today as well, you know, so they can put a lot of stuff on computer and work out the past a lot more, I think. Yeah. And things like that, you know. And mm. Also map out a lot better mm. and map the world out, you know. And mm. also sort of even look with radars going on beneath the sea and on beneath the, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're discovering new stuff all the time. Yeah. You know, and this all, as soon as they find anything, they communicate that with the world. We learn. Well, not always, but well, yeah. Not always, you know, eventually. <clears throat> yeah, not, not all, not, they don't disclose everything, but... Well, I think eventually. Yeah. Eventually. I think the truth comes out eventually. Eventually, see? yeah, yeah. Right? Eventually. This is the thing. I think the truth always comes out eventually. You can't hide it, you know. You can't... Mm. You know, there's a lot of secret places about, you know, which make me laugh a bit, you know. Mm. Because why have secrets, you know? You know, I think... These these places where it will um, dis you can't keep secret. I mean, it's like for instance, I watched this um, 
what do you call it? It's on YouTube, you know. But it's just yeah. this guy walking around London, and he was walking walking about the the um, sort of tax offices, or every all the government buildings. Yeah. Yeah. And he went into this building, all right. Did have no advertisement or nothing, no phone numbers. And this lady come up to him, yeah, and he goes, the, the man with the camera filming it, he goes, what is this place? And she goes, have you got an appointment? Yeah. And he goes, can you give me a phone number and I'll make an appointment? And she goes, no, you can't do that. You know, it's all kind of top secret. Yeah. Right. And, you know, the security car come up and they say, you, you can't come in here and all that. But, you know, it's all kind of a big secret, go you know, all these buildings are quite secret, you know, and as soon as you go up there or in these buildings, they're all coming out saying you can't take any photographs. Yeah. You know? mm. And I think, why not, you know, mm. what's going on in there? Do you know what I mean? What, what are you keeping? Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's weird, but I think, like, the truth comes out in the end, you know, and when they do discover things, I think they do eventually come out to people. Well, I think sometimes people, things get discovered too and they don't have any choice but to disclose it, if you see what I mean. You know, the people themselves end up finding the truth and spreading the truth and it starts to get out and starts to spread a little bit like wildfire, as I would say. And then they have no choice but to kind of disclose something, if you see what I mean, because it's been revealed, if you see what I mean, by someone else, you know. Mm. So all of a sudden they say, oh, massive disclosure, you know, X, Y, Z's happened or whatever, you know. Or because someone else has disclosed it, you know. So they're trying to dampen the, trying to dampen the fire, if you see what I mean, you know. I you think know. there's lots of different businesses out there, isn't there? Mm. Right, and I think that's a, where everyone's, you know, a lot of people like business out there, don't they? Whatever, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everyone's trying to build up their own personal business. And it could be a big business, you know. It could yeah. end up being big business. Some businesses out there are small. But the thing is, they're all sort of at competition with each other, you know, secretly sort of backstabbing each other in a funny way, you know, mm. and trying to sort of like gain, be, be the best, you know, company, Yeah. you know, and smash the other companies down, really, and take over them, you know, and there's like a war going on there in the kind of way, you know, with, between people, Yeah. you know, and it's all about profit out there a bit. You know, and I think it's a shame in a kind of way with that we're living in this world like we are, you know. Like whoever first started the first business up in a kind of way started this world of the business world we're living in in a funny way, you know. And I think yeah. it's a shame because the kids, I don't think any child want it. Yeah. Really, they just want to be free, you know. We used to play and listen to music and dance around music, you know, you know a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I mean, and that slowly folded into the world we got today, where we're, we've got to sort of work nine to five. Well, we no longer live in that world today anymore, mate. We live in a te in the you know age of technology, you know, where everyone's glued to a phone, a screen, some kind of screen. Yeah. For most part of their day, you know. What do we rely on most? I would say most people would say their phone. Do we rely on oxygen the most? Because you know, like we. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. In, in that minutes. in that regard, yeah, and obviously, obviously, essential things, yeah. Everything. But I think Everything. outside of those outside of those things, I think people would say electric. Yeah. There, Electricity. Can you imagine electric going tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All and of a sudden, everything come off. back for a month, right? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be doing any music for one. I'd get really bored, but. Well, you'd have to figure out a way to get, you know, what I mean, to cook our food and all that kind of shit. Communication yeah. would be gone, wouldn't it? Mm. Right around the world. Mm. You know, no more internet. Yeah. You know, so that's, that invention is completely out of the window. If you With no it. electric, yeah. Light bulbs not working anymore, you know? Mm. I was just sort of thinking. A world without electric, you know, It'd be dark world again, wouldn't it? You know, but mm. it'd be like jumping back five hundred years and so on. Into the dark, into like the, candles again. Into the dark ages and shit. Yeah, mm. 